tagged to do the rip it or ship it tag by easy kill uh, this is a tag started by a girl called Emma books on YouTube who uh, gave the original tag a book nerdish twist so us the people of booktube could join in the fun what you do for this tag is you pick a bunch of canon couples from books that you have read and you write their names down on a piece of paper and stick them in a jar. So there'll be eight rounds in which I pull out two names and say whether I would ship it as in, you know, totally go for them being together or rip it as an RIP don't do that shit. Let's see how this goes because I've got both adults and teens mixed up in here and kids so that might that might turn this whole thing into me just not shipping anyone together. Hopefully the adults end up with the adults. We started with Aaron from the Enemy series by Charlie Higson and then we have his canon coupling, yay! Okay, no, we gotta, gotta shake it up a bit. Oh, okay, it fell out. Dwyer, Dwyer. Uh, her name is spelled D-W-E-I-A and I pronounce it Dwyer, uh, maybe it's Dwyer, I don't know, but I pronounce it Dwyer. From The Redemption of Arthurless by David and Lee Eddings, Dwyer and Aaron. Aaron's a 14 year old boy. Dwyer's, she's literally one of the three gods that rule in, this, in the book that she's in. A literal god, teenage boy, I can already tell you that that's not gonna happen and I rip it. Rip, R.I.P. Then... We have Maxi from the Enemy series by Charlie Hickson and who are we going to pair with? Please be a teenager because I'm not looking forward to these adult pairings. Aglarana from the Rift War Saga by Remini Feiss. Aglarana's, I think Aglarana's canon coupling is a 15 year old boy? But he, he's complicated. He goes through a couple of things that make him as old as time. So he's got a bit of maturity and darkness there that Aglarana can kind of like get on with, even though he's a 15 year old boy and she's an immortal elf. But Maxie's not going through something that can make her practically as old as time. She's, she's a 14 year old girl in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Again, adults and children, we don't ship it, we rip it, goodbye. Okay, give us a teenage coupling, please. No, apparently we're not more fucking here. I'm molting, I'm sorry. Arthurless from The Redemption of Arthurless by David and Lee Eddings. An adult, please go with another adult. Reese, another adult from Seven Eves by Neil Stevenson. Arthurless is a couple millennia old though. Albeit he slept through those couple of millennia, still a couple of millennia old. And Reese is, I think, in like his early 20s or late 20s. He's in his 20s or something. I don't know. Arthurless, Arthurless is a thief in kind of like medieval times and Reese is in a futuristic sci-fi. I feel like that might have a couple of problems. Even though Arthurless like gels with magic and he's quite knowledgeable because through the millennia that he sleeps he's, he's being injected with knowledge by a god. But I feel like he might be too knowledgeable for Reese. Reese isn't seen as a very seriously committed character when it comes to who he gets with so no. I think I can see them, I can totally see them getting together for a fling. Like that is totally something Reese would all be for and especially something that Arthurless would totally do just to piss off the other characters in his book. So I can definitely see them having a fling together. If that counts as a ship, I guess I half ship it. But otherwise for like a full on relationship between the two, I don't think that would happen. So it's a half ship, half rip. So that's a good one. I love it when the adults get together. Now I have one random adult here with all the kids. So, let's see who she gets paired up with. Um, they're connected to each other. Lana from the Gone series by Michael Grant and Thomas. Again, from the Rift War Saga by Raymond D. Feiss. Ooh! Lana starts out as quite a, um, she starts the series as quite a rebellious teen. They're both around the same age. Thomas starts out as quite a young, just a normal teen boy going out for adventure with the king and his magician friend as a new knight. Lana, as the series goes on, becomes quite recluse and she doesn't really like dealing with all the peoples because they just put so much pressure on her. 
and Thomas goes through something that turns him quite a dark character, that, that starts to make him quite a dark character and someone who not many people like to be around and someone who tends to isolate himself. So I think maybe in that sense they might find some kind of like, some kind of like balance and be like, hey, you like being alone, I like being alone too, let's be alone together. So hey, maybe that might really work. Lana and Thomas. I totally shit that. Lana and Thomas, get on it. Okay, next coupling. Uh, Dognut from the Enemy series by Charlie Higson and Mikey from Patrick Ness's book The Rest of Us Just Live Here. Mikey is quite a troubled character mentally. He has a lot of, you know, mental problems going on. He's quite... You know, he needs that kind of support, I think, in a relationship to constantly keep him happy and constantly make sure he's okay. He needs that kind of caring and generous person, you know? And Dognut is most definitely not that. <laughs> um, also, considering Dognut's a 14-year-old boy and Mikey, I think, is off to college, so that makes him about 17 or 18. College, American college, is the equivalent in New Zealand as a university. But yeah, the fact that Mikey's 18, Dognut's 14, regardless of their personalities, it's just a no. Bye! Alright. Quinn from the Gone series by Michael Grant and... Get the fuck off. Jeez. Courtney from the Enemy series. I could see it happening. They kind of match one another's kind of type, I think. Quinn's, you know, laid-back surfer guy. Courtney's into that. Courtney's quite a tough, rough girl who can handle her own. Quinn's kind of into that. I feel like they could dig each other. And I feel like I could dig them digging each other. So I think that's a shit. <laughs> we got Dinah from Seven Eves by Neil Stevenson. The lone adult. And whoever we put her with, I probably won't ship her with. Henna from The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. I feel like maybe they might get along like as in a mentor kind of way. Like I think Dinah might be really good for Henna, might give Henna a little bit more stability in her character because Henna doesn't really have a lot of character in the book. But no, teenager, adult, it's not fucking happening. And then we have the last pairing, which is... <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Um, okay, well, the last pairing is Hermione Granger and Ronald Weasley from the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. And obviously, I don't want to do this again simply because I came up with actual canon characters. But I can talk about whether I actually ship these two or not, so I'm going to take the opportunity to talk about that. I actually don't really ship Ron and Hermione. I know a lot of people thought it was cute because, you know, the two main characters' best friends get together, they've been friends forever. But I feel like they come from two very different backgrounds. Like, if you read the books, there's not a lot of moments in which Hermione and Ron share romantic feelings. There's not moments where they actually share something for one another. It just happened in the heat of a moment kind of thing. And then all of a sudden it turns into them having three fucking kids. <laughs> I don't know. But I just did not ship these guys together. I don't know who I would ship them with in the book, but I just wouldn't ship them together because they're so different and they were such great friends. So yeah, I think I just ripped the ultimate OTP on booktube. That's a great way to make friends. I think out of all of that I had like two and a half ships. But yeah, that's been me doing the rip it or ship it tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Can I be cool and be like... <sighs> No. Blood it. Oh, wow. What the fuck, bookcase?